Depuis quelques années, mes voisins agriculteurs en bio ou en conventionnel cherchent à s'adapter au dérèglement climatique, avec chacun leur stratégie. Mais la sécheresse record de 2022 a tout remis à plat. En tout cas, le ruisseau, il coule presque plus. T'as ta culture, tu la vois crever. C'est un truc, ça te prend au trip. Faites la flotte, c'est très très compliqué. Hein. Alors dans 10 ans, ce qu'on va produire, j'en ai aucune idée. Un de mes deux garçons voudrait reprendre la ferme. Je ne sais pas si je, je, je l'encouragerais. On imagine même changer, euh, changer la ferme un jour peut-être. Ça fait du sec dans nos débats. Des fois, on dit on changera de culture s'il faut changer de culture. Sans eau, les poireaux, ça va pas trop le faire. Et ils annoncent aucune pluie. Période de canicule, on va monter à 37 degrés, machin. Enfin, c'est ambiance, euh, ambiance, quoi. Alors, est-ce qu'on valide qu'effectivement, cette région n'est plus adaptée pour produire des fruits et légumes C'est compliqué. Le sujet, c'est voilà, c'est qu'est-ce qu'on peut produire sans eau Résilience alimentaire, c'est pas uniquement l'idée de comment être capable de faire face à des aléas, c'est en fait comment reprendre un peu de pouvoir sur le système, comment reprendre la main sur son système. Enfin, c'est là l'intérêt aussi de remettre les citoyens dans une capacité de réfléchir et de savoir comment ils veulent manger demain, mais derrière comment ils veulent manger, c'est comment ils veulent faire le monde. From the moment we're born, right. we're wearing clothes. Who's talking about this? There was a reason why no one was talking about it. What we need to talk about is oil dependency, synthetic fibers. 70% made of petroleum-based product. There's no way to look at a label and see what the dyes are, what the chemicals are. How do we bust that open? All of these probable links to the diseases, does that happen by chance? The skin is part of the adaptive immune system. But chemicals are not something that the body has become familiar with. I started to think, this is crazy. We looked at 73 kids' clothing products. Ooh. We found PFAS in just about everything. Arsenic helped achieve this color. One of the first colors produced in a laboratory. Skin lesions caused by this dye. Do I need it? Where was it made? And should I buy it? I want to buy that t-shirt. I assume it's not going to harm me. One of the things in the world of fashion they really have lacked is to be transparent. This is the wall here. If you're a designer and you're trying to do something good, your options are actually quite limited. But do they understand like what they put on their body could potentially affect their health? They have to take responsibility by reducing their contribution to global environmental degradation. There's more than one avenue to sustainability. He's such a purist and, and that, that pure soul and heart and, and, and wanting to make a change. Insight comes when you're outside the problem. The medical industry is they treat symptoms because they don't know causes. It's going to take a village to change it, but we also need radical disruption. They thought we were hippies and bad designers. Jeff makes a point of being able to drink his own dyes. Can everything be changed in my lifetime? No, but I'm going to swing for the fences. Fabrics and chemicals that are in constant contact with skin would cause some issues. This is where prophetic is really important, that we actually get to know what's in that fabric. The consumer wants to make a difference. I want to flip the switch back on in people's hearts, and that connectedness
Okay, good. So let's take a walk along the Saturnalia stretch. But beware of slippery foot syndrome and standing in shit and slipping in shit and falling in shit and rolling in shit. Yeah, sorry, but I can't hold your hand now, eh? because <laughs> I reckon it's the two of us. <laughs> My brother Eve grew up at the tip of Africa, surfing the waves of the South Atlantic. Fate and a cruel pact with nature brought him to what he calls the holy mountain in the sea. Look at that man! Power! 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 Ah! Ah! The island that shakes where every man has got mad! One after the other! I was the perfect person at the perfect time to go to the perfect place, which was in total disorder. My job was to put it in order, and I'm so grateful for that. I made my way up and into a house built for the guano scrapers of old. There are abandoned nests and carcasses everywhere. All I could see was this complete imbalance, the result of two centuries of human greed. There must already be 15,000 seals on this island. My job is to chase them all to the mainland. I say, James, yes, what's the deal here, huh? You guys come to mug me or what? Fine little fellow, this one. Alias Kingston. Them dirty feet. One day you're gonna see that swim past you, bro. That's the way. Hey, Vid, can you see the island there, my blue? Huh? Check it out. Fire a bit of zoom lens there. Yeah, I'm sure you're hungry. Have one of those. You think you're a reflection of me? Or who's a reflection of you around here? I love you, man. You're, 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 the, you're the same hour as me. In fact, if it wasn't for me, you little fuck. 